Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian National Mathematical Olympiad for 10th graders, 2017, problem number 3. We wish to prove that sine of pi over 4n is greater than or equal square root of 2 over 2n for all positive integers n. So here are my hints for this problem. First, consider this function f of t be equal sine of pi t over 4 minus square root of 2 over 2 times t for t between 0 and 1 and just investigate the first and the second derivative of this function to show that f of t is strictly greater than 0 for t between 0 and 1 and deduce that sine of pi over 4n is strictly greater than square root of 2 over 2n for integers from 2 onwards and if n equals 1, well, it's easy to verify what happens. So, in fact, we are proving a strengthening of our, of our inequality. So, give this problem a try, and I will see you in just a minute. All right. So, as I suggested, let's invest, let f of t be equal sine of pi t over 4 minus square root of 2 t over 2 or t between 0 and 1. Let's investigate the first derivative, the first derivative of our function f prime of t. Well, what is it? It's pi over 4 cosine of pi t over 4 minus square root of 2 over 2 or t between 0 and 1 and the second derivative it will be minus pi over 4 squared derivative of cosine is minus sine so I have minus right here minus sine pi t over 4 and this is a constant so this vanishes or t between 0 and 1 now let's see the following uh, well, since t is between 0 and 1, notice that pi, pi times t over 4 is between 0 and pi over 4. So definitely this part is greater than 0 or equal 0. And we have a minus right here. So we can safely deduce that f double prime of t is strictly less than zero for t between uh, zero and one. So in other words, this means that our function f prime is strictly is strictly decreasing on the interval. 0 closed, 1 closed. Of course, we can close at 0 because our function is continuous. So our function f prime is strictly decreasing. And let's investigate the values at the ends of our interval. f prime of 0, f, f prime of 1. What's f prime of 0? Well, it's pi over 4 minus square root of 2 over 2. So it's pi minus 2 square root of 2 over 4, and it's definitely uh, greater than 0, because pi is 3.14, um, approximately. 2 square root of 2 is 2.8 something, approximately. What is f prime of 1? Well, f prime of 1 is uh, pi over 4. Uh, cosine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. So we have uh, square root of 2 over 8, and we have pi minus 4, which is definitely less than 0. Which means that uh, can write that f prime of t is, less, is greater than 0 for t in the interval 0 zero and our derivative is negative or t in the interval t zero 
one where for some for some uh, t zero between zero and one. How do I know it? Well, because our function is mm, strictly decreasing. So first it's positive, then it attains zero, and it becomes negative and stays negative. All right, but this implies something about our original function f, namely, this implies that f is strictly, strictly increasing on the interval zero t zero, and it's strictly incre decreasing. on the interval from t0 1. So the minimum can be attained either at 0 or at 1. And notice that what is f of 0? Let's go back to our function. f of 0, sine of 0 minus 0 is 0. And what about 1? Sine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. So it's also 0. So both f of 0 and f of 1 are 0, which implies that for every t between 0 and 1, f of t is strictly greater than 0. In particular, in particular, in particular, for any n integer from 2 onwards, well, notice that f of 1 over n is greater than 0. And moreover, f of 1 equals 0. Which means, this is exactly what we wanted to prove, because this means that for any positive integer n, sine of pi over 4n is greater than or equal square root of 2 over 2n. And this really closes our proof. And yes, that's it. So it was not that difficult, but we were using derivatives. And it was problem given to, what, 10th graders? 10th graders. Uh, all right. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.